So you probably clicked on this video just to know how to make these GFX, like with the pretty lightning and such. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do these. Let's start. So, the first thing you do, you have to open Roblox Studio to get your avatar, your avatar texture, your avatar accessories, and so on, so on. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, pretty much, you open the base plate, um, nothing special, you delete the spawn, why isn't it loading? Well, anyways, you have to get the load character plugin from already pro open that motherfucker and type um your username or the use of the username of the person that you want gfx made of for example um i will type my username luke manly menu luke manly 2012 um Spawn at origin and spawn R6. Where is... Oh, there it is. Why isn't it loading? Why isn't it the texture loading? Anyways, so you... Go to... Um, you select your avatar. And change the origin position to 0 0.3. 0.0. So it stands like on the ground. Like not clipping through the ground. But standing on the ground. You know what I mean? Alright, after you've done that, you need to um, click the model of your avatar and hit our uh, right click and export selection. And just save it somewhere. After you did that, um, you have to open the um, model and select all of these accessories. How you do that is by holding control and clicking on each accessory and you hit export selection again and just save it anywhere. Pretty much that was the Roblox Studio part. Uh, we got the whole texture and model of the accessories so that's basically it. After you've done that, you have to open Paintrick V3. Um, I linked a Google Drive file in my description. You have to download it, and of course, you have to need Blender installed, um, or else it's not it's not gonna work. So open up Paintrick V3, just normally open it, and you see this ugly little dude so basically he is going to be very cool pretty soon all right um so you just hit on this icon right on this menu thingy you just hit the icon um and search your texture for the for the avatar so i found mine and i got the texture so he's bald and has cancer that's pretty sad i know right so to fix that we hit file and import wavefront object so you gonna search the accessories of your man the object file you click on it and you see he's still pretty ugly because his accessories are transparent to fix that you have to make your render engine to Eevee and go to this ball thingy mater material properties and scroll down to blend mode and click on the accessories and hit alpha clip on blend mode so you see it's not transparent anymore that's pretty cool right well it gets cooler when we parent the accessories to the head so every time when the head moves the accessories move with it that's cool right i know and um, yeah pretty much you do that by clicking accessories and holding control 
and clicking head attachments then clicking ctrl p and set parent to object like this all right boom that was all pretty much so let's go to the posing part so to pose to make a pose you just hit, need to hit these cubes transparent invisible cubes it's like the skeleton or i don't know how it's called pretty much you click on this and it all glows like orangey and so to actually pose something because you notice you can only move like the whole character and not the arm or bend the arm i don't know so to fix that you hit one of these cubes um and go to object mode and hit pose mode pretty cool now you can select each cube each cube is one move so pretty much if i move this if i rotate this the whole arm moves if i rotate this the other half of the arm moves if i rotate this the whole body rotates that's pretty awkward all right so to actually post something i like to do um i like to select these this cube and just make it like that down there that the um, legs are like bent it i don't know what's it called so that she stands like that and just move them out a bit like this this looks pretty realistic for my opinion yeah pretty much you can do anything you want now i just make a quick pose and show you the i'll see you after i made my pose so yeah i made my pose it's not that cool i know it's lame but for tutorial it's enough i guess so after you made your pose um oh i forgot you have to set your render engine two cycles uh, back so after you've done that you hit the plus icon right here and go to sculpting and hit shading so what the fuck is this menu um well don't worry it's pretty easy you won't see this menu that often actually so you see this blank black field menu thing yeah it's pretty blank i know to make it colorful you just hit object and press world Woo, colors cool right but it's quite cooler if you delete this thing with x or just right click and delete yeah now you deleted it and the only thing that's left is the world output to add something new is you have to click add and to make lighting pretty good lighting you have to add a um environment texture just place it somewhere you want i can place it right here and connect color to surface so if you go to the shading viewport you see it's pretty pink that's because we don't have a hdri so to get an hdri go to poly heaven cool website by the way you will get to this menu and click on hdris so there are a bunch of things bunch of yeah a bunch of things and you can um, choose anything you want pretty much that one's cool um, has pretty good light uh, lighting but I like the what was it Chinese garden Chinese garden lighting lightning um, all right so I want this one so I just hit 8k 8k resolution on this lighting shader thing it's all right and hit HDR and hit download so pretty much it download is downloads now I already downloaded it so I don't need to download it again uh, after you download it um, you have to open it 
by clicking on this icon again and go to downloads and Chinese garden right here so now you see it's not a pink anymore it is a Chinese garden in my background cool so we can see the lighting lightning is pretty cool and such you thought that's it right but mm -mm, mm -mm, we're not over yet so pretty much to do something pretty much to do it make the lighting better you have to turn your avatar to the sun because you're facing your back is facing to the sun and we don't want to render your back of the avatar we want to render the front of the avatar but the front of the avatar it has no lightning almost so we have to fix that to fix that you click on this plane right there on this cube um, select it and hit rotate just rotate it to the direction of the sun like this I liked it I like this a lot pretty much this yes so I found my spot where the lighting is pretty good uh, so I'm gonna just leave it like this and make sure to go back to shading and go to film and make it transparent so the background is invisible in the final render after you've done that we're gonna add the camera so yeah the camera the camera so to add a camera you hit object mode and add a camera yeah just adjust the camera like you want um, I'm gonna just leave it like this maybe yeah that's alright or I don't know maybe that's alright so after you've done that just check if the lightning lighting is okay on the camera yes it is and just hit render image it's gonna take a while but you can already see a little bit of the render it looks pretty good already you just need to wait until all of the samples are re rendered um, yeah let's see how mine turns out all right guys my render is ready it looks pretty crispy already but it's a little bit downgraded on this preview to actually see the best of the render you have to hit image and then save it I'm gonna save it in the uh, desktop name it cool YouTube render or something like that I'm gonna just save it and ooh, it turned out pretty good now you can use this for thumbnails profile pics or I don't know just to half a gfx of your avatar i know that turned out pretty cool all right now you know how to make a gfx i hope you liked this video um if you did then leave a like and subscribe if you want to um yeah pretty much that's it that's that's actually the first video where i actually talk with you guys so yeah that's pretty new for me so don't don't mind the misspellings in the video and yeah and also I'm not from England or something England e English isn't my first language <clears throat> so pretty much that was it Thank you for watching and goodbye.